हेलो एवरी वन आई एम रोहन मंडल एंड दिस इज़ माई थर्ड ब्लॉग एंड टूडे आई एम इन हरिपाल माई होम टाउन वेर आई लिव वेर आई ग्रो अप एंड टूडे आई डिसाइडेड टू शूट द ब्लॉग हेयर बिकॉज आई एम पर्सनली अटैच टू द प्लेस वेरी मच सो इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेस टू शूट In Haripal, there are not as much as um, tourist attraction, attractive place, but uh, here there are a few places where I personally enjoy a lot. Where I personally come come here, and one of the place is the 26 number National Highway. So it's a great place if you feel bored in your daily life. So when I feel bored, I just came here, sat. Uh, sometimes roam here and there with my bike or sometimes i come with a cycle it's actually 5 km away from where i live i live in near the haripal station railway station and the highway is bit far but not far if you wanna come here and it's a great place to come with the with my friends and it's always a busy road because it's the road is connected to durgapur durgapur bardhaman that the reason i come here you know, when i feel bored because just look at this place a long highway down to the middle of the down to the middle and in the two ways there is just speeds always little bit windy little bit chilled if it's not fully sun if the sun is not upright but haripal actually is a nice place to live actually i personally think i was not originally from haripal i am my father is from balipur near khanakul uh, village in hugli as actually but it's 50 kilometers away from haripal and uh, my father came here for um, our, my and for me and my sister study and for future th- things and um, now i think it's the great decision by, made by my father because haripal is actually i think one of the most peaceful places to live here everyone in haripal was always chilled no much not much chaos happening here and that's why so as while i am riding here and there so i recently found a one of the most beautiful place that i ever found it in haripal just this place just this road i don't think it's much photogenic to see it but or it's photogenic i can't explain but it's actually really amazing because two sides one side there is a lake a lake not a, a river a small river and on the left you can see just there is some paddy fields and in the middle now there is a long road muddy road and in the two sides there are some beautiful trees it's superb actually it's i think it's actually one of the rarest things to visit is actually i think it's a great place to come with my friends or to um, spend some really good times here and um, the one of the best things about haripal where i live is that the people here the people are really nice here and they are not much chaotic always do their business and 
just look at them it's an it's a kacha road uh, and they are cleaning it they just mm, they actually i don't think they can get any money for doing this work but still they are cleaning the road because of well, if someone pa pa passes here so they didn't have much trouble for traveling and that's actually one of the most humbleness humble things i found in the recent days because today people uh, all peoples are actually busy they have don't time for the to contribute in the society but these people just live here thinks that the road is not good or the road is hmm, leafy because of the spring season uh, always the road is covered with the road so they think that they can clean this and that's actually good to see that and, and it's proof that the humanity is still there in people's heart so they are doing this at free of cost and to make everyone hmm, Mm, to make everyone good about to for the journey i don't know why i like this place so much but on one side a long stream of river goes and on the other there is a huge paddy field and down to the middle is a one of beautiful road so this is actually one of the superb things i found in haripal and i can catch you in the next place where i go with a friend with my friends and uh, it's actually a temple and i think it's really nice if i show you that place okay so i gonna show you one another temple but i hmm, again remember that oh, an, another one temple here in haripal that's actually one of the most historic things you found in haripal that is this durga mandir the temple is actually i think built in around in 19th century or in 18th century i forget that but it's a great place and in the outside the there are some few other temples that's actually now abandoned some abandoned some temples that are actually been prayed or worshiped but this this place when it's durga time durga puja time it's actually very chaotic place because it's one of the most historic things and it's really and the locals thing for the locals it's a privileged thing to came and worship here and that's it and no that's not it but, but because um, in around 50 meters away there's a kumar pada was also there so all the um, murtis of the murtis are also being formed here so it's good to came and shoot here and that's actually a nice place it's you can feel some it is vibe also okay so this is the place where i was talking about the aradhana trust and um, temple bit this is the aradhana temple and this is actually run by aradhana trust and because of some fund of some good people this thing is possible and this is actually the most crowded most densely crowded place in the month of shravan because as you can see the road the, this um, leads to tarkeshwar and um, almost lakhs and lakhs of people in the month of shravan uh, walk to tarkeshwar 
हम्म टू पे ट्रिब्यूट टू लॉर्ड शिवा एंड फॉर ड्यूरिंग दैट टूर दे टेक रेस्ट हेयर एंड दिस इज द टेम्पल ब्यूटिफुल टेम्पल एक्चुअली एंड the uh, in the month of shravan a uh, lots of free works donations happened here and it's really hard to imagine how densely crowded the place for it is in the in this building <coughs> the tr- trustees feed the feed those who walk to the um, tarkeshwar building and also those who just came to give some accompaniment to them <coughs> to jal jatris actually who the jal jatris take um, holy ganga river water in shaoda pule which is actually around 30 km away from here and they walk almost 40 km to tarkeshwar uh, and they pay tribute to lord shiva in the month of shravan and now the place was very much open and no people here but in that holy month this was the best place to visit and you can see everything here donations in public feeding and everything and the temple is in the month of shravan was superbly decorated super and the trustees here um, not only in the month of shravan but also do some charity works here today thank you for this